Hi everyone, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. And um, the other day, I think it was Thursday, I did a reading um, and I entitled it um, Beware the Ides of March? And I felt the need to do a reading and I generally don't just do readings out of the blue like that. I usually have an idea to, you know, to, to you know, whether it's a news story or whatever. But there was no particular idea and I felt like I needed to name it something that would be both catchy you know uh, and interesting and um, historically the Ides of March were, were it was the day that um, Brutus uh, um, betrayed Caesar and then all the the um, the senators all like had their their hack at him, so to speak. So it was, it has a violent sort of uh, overtone, as it were, and um, and I personally, I can't say I know the story because I don't. Uh, perhaps I should read uh, read about it, or I should read the play by Shakespeare, or see the play. That would be fun. I even if it's terrible, <laughs> you know, let's see the play of Julius Caesar getting killed. Yay. Um, but I know that there's a sense of, of there's a sense of sort of uh, as it being a turning point. There's definitely a turning point. So I did the reading and I read the cards in the way that um, sort of made sense to me. In the light of what happened, I'd like to just revisit the cards if you don't mind, and then we'll move on from there. Um, so the immediate environment of the cards that I was picking and I pulled all the cards out again was this. This is the the Nine of Swords, okay? And we can see somebody here huddled in fear. And we can see all these sort of swords uh, coming towards them. But if you look at it, I would imagine this is something what it might have looked like uh, when the gunman, um, uh, you know, had did started shooting, really. People huddled and, and you know, and it, it, it's, it's not... And I'm not saying these things to... to glorify the violence of it, but we could see that this could be uh, one of the people, or, you know, many of the people who find themselves, in, unfortunately, in this situation. Um, but there's also the anxiety, the anxiety and the fear that is all around. This is the immediate environment, the card of the immediate environment. So there's a lot of fear in the air, and for good reason. Uh, and then we have the person uh, who takes that fear, the swords, the mental, the mental fear, and takes an action, and generally this card is um, is is because it's the the um, the page of swords. It isn't a mature action. It's sort of the action of somebody who doesn't have necessarily the experience, perhaps, uh, necessary to wield the sword. You know, the sword of truth or the sword of life and death. Uh, and so that was crossing that energy. So we can see how this possibly manifested. Now, at the root, we had this card. This was the three of uh, pentacles. And I said that this was orchestrated and that there was a lot of responsibility. This is um, says to me that there's been a lot of groundwork um, sort of put into uh, creating the fear and creating the situation that we had in New Zealand. Now, it's not a New Zealand problem per se, but it's more about those powers that be that um, through money, okay, because this is money, uh, sort of orchestrate this and utilize the fear that people have. Um, these are also the people orchestrating the reason that people are leaving, right? Um because they, because they're the people who create the, uh, the situations that people have to leave their their homes, um, the warmongers, as it were, the the, the moneyed few, the um, um, the military industrial complex, the uh, fossil fuel, um, creating the the climate changes. So we can see that this has been. Um, in a way, whether they meant to have it be a concerted effort or not, it's been a concerted effort. And in the past, we have this card, which is the Hierophant. And this guy is opening a, um, 
a box and out comes light. Uh, but this can also be an unearthing of things that have been hidden, things that have been underground and sort of fomenting and gestating. I likened this to uh, Uranus in Taurus. And I never really thought about Uranus in Taurus as being something that would um, sort of wake something that was sort of growing underneath the surface up. But certainly this sort of right wing um, uh, power, right, is, is, has been underground. And what actually opens the box was somebody, I'll say, somebody in government, right? And that person, I think, is both, uh, is the primary, is, uh, well, there, I think there are a bunch of people, but the two people mainly are Steve Bannon, right? And Donald Trump. Okay, so Steve Bannon has been in part sort of fomenting a lot of this, and Donald Trump is the fool that opens the Pandora's box, right? Um, and so there's been this opening of that energy and making it come come to to the surface. Now this energy has come to this darkness comes to the surface to be healed. Um, this is also part of Pluto going through Capricorn. So there's a lot of this energy. And we're at a time when the shadow is coming up for us to see it and heal it, right? And then what was in the sky was death. And certainly that was the case for many of these people caught in this situation. As I'm, t as I'm saying this, my stomach is getting upset. So I, this is really hard. I just want you to know for me to say these things. But I think it's important for us to understand... Um, not only how the cards are read on many different levels, but uh, perhaps the what we need to do next. And that is this card right here. This is the future. And this is the Two of Cups. And as I said in my reading the other day, the Two of Cups is bringing love to a higher level, to, to, to uh, a, a sense of, of, of compassion, uh, to work together to as equals to bring love into the situation and so this is very much um i think th what we need to do in these situations we need to love one another we need to work together to transcend our differences and to work on what really matters um, people who do this kind of thing are in pain and isolated and feel disempowered and they attack those who are weakest because they're attacking their own, the weakness that they feel in themselves. They hate the weakness that they feel so they attack the weak. They, they are vulnerable and they hate their vulnerability so they attack the vulnerable. Um, and they're cowards, and they feel like cowards, and they do cowardly things. And this goes uh, up to the highest, um, the highest places, and uh, the lowest places. We're at a time when this stuff. We're in a time of extremes. Uh, it's the change of an age. Uh, it's important that we focus again on that which we want to bring in instead of focus on the evil of it all. It has to be about the healing. It has to be about the love. Um, love transcends fear. And we need to wake up to that. We also need to hold to those accountable who are creating the fertile who are watering the seeds of hatred. They need to be held accountable. And so they will. Um, but we have to not get caught up. We have to not be in the fear. We need to be in the love. And we need to walk in each other's moccasins in order to make it through this. To all our brothers and sisters, down under, we understand. Um, as I said in my astrology this morning, it happens here all the time. We've unfortunately 
uh, become numb to it. But there, this happens here. This is continuing to happen. It's mostly, uh, if not completely, uh, created through uh, alt-right uh, terror, terror uh, organizations here, uh, underground stuff. Um, but these people are wounded too. It doesn't give them the right to, to wound others. It, it doesn't, uh, they still have to be held responsible for what they do. But we have to understand that it's the isolation and the pain that creates it. And so the only thing that we can really combat it with is to love one another. And I know I've probably said that about 10 times. This is really hard. So um, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to stop this here, and um, I am going to do some readings um, on, on, I want to do a reading on Steve Bannon, actually, um, but I can't do that right now because my stomach is too upset, so I will be back, I promise. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped to bring some context to, to things that don't seem like they, they have context. And uh, this is how um, I'm trying to work through this. And um, I hope it helps. Like and subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.